So I'm in the middle of my morning. Gun. Oops. And it is a perfect time to. Actually, this dropped from above. <laughs> this is amazing. I think it's a crow or something. Uh, so I'm in the middle of my morning run. A crow, an intelligent bird. And it's a perfect time to talk about the cancel culture. You know, of course, I, in this world, uh, you know, there are universal values that we need to protect and promote. So, from that perspective, it is inevitable that some individuals and some works of art and so on uh, need to be cancelled from time to time. Uh, having said that, uh, you know, in order to cancel something, you need to have something in the first place. And from my point of view, it is always interesting to study uh, not the process of can cancellation itself, but uh, the works of the individuals to be cancelled. How? he or she got there and how his or her works uh, came to be appreciated by the society at large and by the general public. It's always interesting to you know study the works that uh, need to be cancelled from time to time rather than the process of cancellation itself because you know to destroy something is quite easy it's a no-brainer from you know m in many cases and to, but to create something or to become somebody is a non-trivial process which cannot be done uh, in a no-brainer way. So, you know, I, of course, I am uh, all in for the spirit of, you know, equality and fairness and so on, all around in this world. And so, I not, I am not criticizing the council culture itself. Uh, you know, I think it's a necessary thing in today's world. I'm not criticizing the woke culture. Uh, but I am always stating, uh, making the case that, uh, you know, it's always interesting to study the person or works that uh, need to be counseled from time to time. Be because in order to counsel something, as I said, you need to have something before that. So with that thought, I keep my money up.